if you're an attorney, a paralegal, or anybody else in this legal industry looking for your next case management solution, and you're looking at Microsoft 365 as a possible solution, then this video right here is one of the most important videos that you can watch. And the reason why that is, is because I'm going to take a deep dive into Microsoft 365 resellers and tell you why I don't recommend them. In today's video, I'm going to uncover some Microsoft 365 reseller secrets. These are things that they don't want you to know. Either they're banking on you already not knowing it, or they're simply just keeping it from you, thinking that you're not going to read the fine print, because let's face it, we usually don't. This video is probably going to piss some people off in the tech industry, and I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. I think that it's important as us legal professionals, we need to know who we're getting in bed with, so to speak. That's what I'm going to talk about today. So smash the subscribe button if you haven't already, and let's do this today. So you are in the market for a case management system. You're looking at Microsoft 365 and you're thinking, hmm, how can I leverage this as a case management solution? And you've probably already seen this video right here where I show you how I leverage the power of Microsoft 365 as a case management solution. Now, if you're that person looking for the case management solution, then you've probably also come across many other names in looking at the Microsoft 365 subscription. The reason why that is, is because Microsoft has many resellers. Two of the big dogs in this tech industry are GoDaddy and AppRiver. Yeah, so Microsoft recommends them, so they must be legit, right? We've heard lots about GoDaddy, lots of us have heard lots about AppRiver, but doesn't mean that they should be your Microsoft reseller. Now, yes, Microsoft is recommending them, so they must be awesome, right? Wrong, no. There is some fine print that they are not telling you about when you purchase a Microsoft 365 subscription through the Microsoft resellers like GoDaddy and AppRiver. We're going to talk about these two tech giants today, GoDaddy and AppRiver. There are many reasons to go with a Microsoft 365 reseller, especially if you are a solo practitioner, you don't have in-house IT, and you really need someone to manage your Microsoft 365 subscription and to support it, to not only help you, but to support you in your times of need. For those people, having AppRiver, having GoDaddy, that's great. But before you dive in with those folks, you really need to know what you're getting into. So without wasting any more of your time, let's get into the biggest beef I have with one of the biggest giants in this industry, which is GoDaddy. Unfortunately, I do not, under any circumstances right now, 100% do not recommend that you purchase a Microsoft 365 subscription through GoDaddy. And here's the reason why. GoDaddy actually restricts your use of the Microsoft 365 system. They hijack your Microsoft 365 admin center without even telling you. Either they're banking on you not knowing about it or they don't care if you don't know about it. They don't care if you do know about it. You're not calling them, maybe you don't need it. But here's the thing. When you're looking at Microsoft 365 as a case management solution, you have to have access to your Microsoft Admin Center. Now, GoDaddy did respond and said, well, we give you access to all of the other admin centers. We give you access to the SharePoint Admin Center, to Teams, to OneDrive, to Exchange. Unfortunately, they are not giving us the most important access that we need, and that is our Microsoft 365 Admin Center. If you do not have access to your Microsoft 365 Admin Center, it means that you cannot use Microsoft 365 as a case management solution. It just can't be done. I have not yet figured out a way for it to be done, neither has my engineer, and actually neither has GoDaddy. GoDaddy conceded a couple of weeks ago saying they are actually hindering their users. Nope, you're not going to see this in a press release because this is an actual conversation I had with GoDaddy representatives. Here's the thing. 
Without using the Microsoft Admin Center, there's a couple of really important settings that you're going to miss out on completely, which prohibits you from being able to use it as a case management solution. One of those really important settings is to be able to use the SharePoint site address, the email address that it gives you as an external email address. This means that people outside of your organization cannot email that email address. They will receive a bounce back. That is a setting that you have to check in the admin center. So you can go and create a SharePoint site and bam, it's available right out of the box for you as soon as you name it and give it an email address. Or maybe it's the default email address, whatever you want. But regardless, it's not ready. It's actually not ready for you to use it as a case management solution because there's no way for you to drive traffic into it outside of your organization. And the purpose of having a SharePoint site is to have that dedicated email address so we can use it as an e-distribution center. We can drive traffic into it, we can ask people to email into it, and it allows us to easily manage our emails and our documents and so on. So without being able to check this setting in the Microsoft 365 Admin Center, you can't use it as a case management solution. Another really important setting that you're missing from the Microsoft 365 Admin Center is the fact that none of the members of the SharePoint site will be receiving copies of emails and calendar events that are associated with that SharePoint site because that setting exists in the Admin Center. And you can't click a setting if you can't get to it. So it means that you and your members will have to check the dedicated inbox because you're not gonna receive any sort of automated emails. And that's not all. I've got one more big one that is a huge hindrance in you not being able to access the admin center. And actually, this is going to answer one of the questions that I got here recently on this video talking about contacts. Now you can go to your SharePoint site homepage and edit the web parts to bring in people. People is contacts. Now contacts usually sit in Outlook. That's where they're sitting, in our Outlooks. But the contacts that sit in your Outlook are actually only user-based contacts. They're not part of your entire organization. That comes into play with the Microsoft Admin Center. Now, if you go into the Admin Center and look at that left-hand menu and look at Users and expand it, you will see Contacts. Contacts are only available to you in the Microsoft Admin Center because that is where you enter contacts for your SharePoint sites. When contacts are entered through the Microsoft 365 Admin Center, they are organization-wide contacts that are brought through to the SharePoint site. Once they're on the SharePoint site, then your users add them from the SharePoint site to their contacts. Now they have access to the organization-wide contact and not just a contact that they entered on their user profile from an email or someplace else. Remember, you are using this as a case management solution, which means you need access to the granddaddy of them all. Not just the admin centers for SharePoint, Exchange, OneDrive, and Teams, you need access to the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. And the fact is, GoDaddy hinders you by not allowing you access to your Admin Center. But don't take my word for it. If you bought your Microsoft 365 subscription through GoDaddy, I want you to do a little test. I want you to go to office.com and I want you to look at all of your apps that you have available to you. Really expand all of your apps and tell me whether or not you see the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. It's that gray little icon right there. Go ahead and click that icon. And when you click that icon, tell me where it sends you in the comments. Does it send you to GoDaddy and a dashboard for GoDaddy, for GoDaddy to tell you where you need to go next? Or did it take you to your Microsoft 365 Admin Center? Now, my theory about GoDaddy hindering you from being able to use your Microsoft 365 Admin Center is the fact that there's also a billing section in there and a product section in there for you to go and purchase your own products through Microsoft directly. 
But of course, GoDaddy doesn't want you to do that because they'd rather have your money as the Microsoft reseller instead. The problem is they are not completely disclosing to you how they are hindering you from accessing your admin center. So I have recently talked to GoDaddy about this and at the end of several days and several hours, they did finally concede and say basically, yeah, we are not giving you access to your admin center. But the representative I spoke to couldn't tell me why they are not giving people access to their admin center. Um, so that's my theory about why they're not doing it. I think it's pretty odd that Microsoft would actually recommend GoDaddy as a 365 reseller. Um, and I wonder if they know that GoDaddy is actually hijacking your admin center and hindering its users um, from being able to fully use Microsoft 365. Now I do a lot with nursing home abuse litigation with the Nursing Home Care Act. Um, it's a very sort of specialized area of law, but something that I recommend to all of um, my families and stuff that are calling in is, did you report this to the state? No, and if not, go ahead and report it to the state and here's why. It helps to promote change within the environment. So that is why I'm doing this video. If GoDaddy wants to respond to this video and maybe stop hindering their users from using the admin center, then hey, make a video. Comment on this video, do something about it. But this video is to help to promote change within the GoDaddy environment. GoDaddy's fine. They're hosting, they're registrar. If you want them to host your website, that's fine. I'm just not recommending them as a Microsoft 365 reseller. So let's talk about the next one, and that is AppRiver. Now, I'm not gonna say too many things about AppRiver um, because I haven't really done a deep dive into them as a Microsoft reseller. Um, there are a couple of things that I don't agree with them using. I don't think that if you use them, you really don't own your data. You have to pay for that. Um, case in point, I had a client several weeks ago who had an emergency. And for whatever reason, she could not get into her Microsoft 365 subscription. It was two o'clock in the morning. There was a child that needed her and she couldn't get in. I mean, it's two o'clock in the morning. I don't think I remember my 16 digit alphanumeric password either, to be perfectly honest. But she has App River. App River was her Microsoft 365 reseller. And because she's a solo practitioner, she really needed their support and IT solutions. Great but she also paid the price for that too at two o'clock in the morning when she couldn't remember her password because she had to contact AppRiver and buy her password back from them. Either she bought her password back or they reset it, but either way, that's something that she had to purchase. Now, some of you may be saying, okay, yeah, she had to purchase it because it was off peak hours. It was two o'clock in the morning. No, absolutely not. You take it back. You own your data. You purchase the Microsoft 365 subscription directly from Microsoft because you can do that. And you don't have to worry about having to buy your password back. You don't have to worry about not owning your data and you most certainly don't have to worry about not being able to access your Microsoft 365 admin center. I'm sorry, that's just ludicrous GoDaddy. Do something about it. Microsoft has a way for you to be able to purchase your subscription all on your own. The business premium plan is really the best way to go for a lot of people, or you can go into enterprise. But Microsoft has a wizard to help you figure out what sort of subscription you need based on the needs of your cases and your practice. Is security a really big deal to you? If so, you may wanna go with an enterprise solution. Is it just you and one other person and you know you maybe have less than 100 cases? Then the business premium plan is probably for you. But the fact is, you can purchase it yourself without going through a Microsoft reseller at all. 
So I will post a link in the description box below that shows you how to purchase your Microsoft 365 subscription. When you go and purchase your own Microsoft 365 subscription, it is you who is taking ownership of your case management solution, your data, and you're not going to have to pay anyone to retrieve or reset a password. Um, and that's, that's hugely important that we take ownership and responsibility of this case management solution that we've decided to build for ourselves. So I hope you found some value in this video today. I hope that I didn't piss too many people off from GoDaddy or AppRiver, but if I did, then do something about it and people won't be making videos like this. Of course, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and be sure to click that bell notification to receive a notification of each time I post a video on here. We also have an e-course masterclass that is being launched at the end of September. It is the masterclass that we did a couple of months ago, wrapped into a much bigger e-course. We're going to take a deep dive into each one of those applications and how we can develop a blueprint for a case management system. We go step by step and how you can create a SharePoint site, how you fully connect it, make it function and work for you. Not only do we help you build that foundation, we also show you how you can scale your Microsoft 365 case management system. What Aero Consultants does is come in and serve as your builder and your architect. That's all we're doing. We're helping guide you to build that custom case management solution that you've always needed and nobody else was able to give to you because they were too busy throwing every bell and whistle under the sun at you. Thank you for watching me today. Good luck to you and all that you do because this crazy legal industry needs you to be super smart about the people that you're getting in bed with. Have a great rest of your day, an awesome weekend ahead of you, and I will catch you back here on the next one. Bye-bye. Help, I got like a hair. I can't, okay. Get out. Okay, let's try that shit again. Oh, why didn't stop recording? Yeah, let's try this again. Oh, freaking dogs in there. I hate having hardwood floors with the dogs in there. Oh my God, it drives me insane. Go daddy, fix your shit.